now recognize Honorable Swart. Thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, the ACDP, like so many others, was shocked by the startling revelations made by former ESCOM CEO, Andre de Reiter. And having been part of the ESCOM oversight inquiry and having read the findings of the Zondo report, we thought that state capture, corruption, and criminality at ESCOM, which has contributed to the high levels of load shedding, had largely been exposed, was being investigated, and a number of ESCOM officials and private contractors had been charged. We were mistaken, however. Mounting evidence, including Mr. Director's explosive revelations, indicate that criminality at ESCOM is not only continuing, but appears to have reached new and higher levels. Despite the ANC's protestations that it has learned its lesson and now seeks to comply faithfully with the recommendations contained in the Zonda report, state capture is sadly still very much alive and well in the country. ESCOM in particular, is plagued by widespread corruption with criminal syndicates operating seemingly at will to loot the coffers. This at a time when unprecedented levels of load shedding have had a devastating impact on households, businesses, and the economy at large. What is even more alarming is the allegations that government was not only aware of the ongoing corruption and criminality, but largely turned a blind eye to the extensive looting, estimated to be in the region of a staggering one billion rand per month. What makes it even worse is that it is alleged that a high level members of cabinet were intricately involved. Yes, Mr. Director was, and he is under an obligation to report this and other serious allegations to the law enforcement agencies in terms of Papuda. But he apparently did meet with high ranking police officials regarding the criminal syndicates. According to media reports, Minister Gordan, together with Mr. Sidi Mafumadi, who was President Ramaphosa's national security advisor, was briefed by Mr. Director and a senior investigating official. It is also reported that the National Police Commissioner had also been briefed by him on allegations of corruption, and he in turn appointed a senior police official. It is clear that existing portfolio committees have not been effective enough despite their best intentions. Now, during the ESCOM Parliamentary Oversight Inquiry, the Public Enterprises Portfolio Committee spent about 18 months sitting continually and sometimes until very late at night to inquire into state capture. And we only touched, we scratched the surface. So it is very clear that an ad hoc committee is needed. The people of South Africa are outraged at the ongoing load Shut shedding and allegations of looting. They demand action, including Parliament, to exercise its oversight function more stringently. The ACDP supports the ad hoc committee. I thank you.